Elon Musk's XAI accused of worsening Memphis smog with unauthorized gas turbines at data center. Memphis already had a major smog problem, and the county where the XAI data center is located re- received an F grade from the American Lung Association for its poor air quality. Just, just saying, it, it's, it would be hard to sneak in a power plant somewhere or you know a large gas turbine that can produce 10 to 15 megawatts and just flip the switch without anybody knowing about it. Musk-led companies have a history of building facilities or operating high emissions equipment without obtaining permits first. You know, maybe maybe in three weeks we'll be eating our words on this. And so, oh, oh crap, we really did sneak those in there and put them on. But hey. Hi, I'm David with EV World News of Time. Pleased to announce it's Wednesday today, and I've got engineer Mike Herzog with me again today. How's it going, Mike? Hey, glad to be here, David. Glad to be here. All right. So we're going to go on to a story uh, that is kind of surprising. It's not really about electric vehicles or green energy. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. Elon Musk's XAI accused of worsening Memphis smog with unauthorized gas turbines at data center. Environmental advocates say they're running gas turbines to power its data center and emitting air pollutants without authorization. Well, I don't know exactly what all goes into that authorization or when. I, I can step in on that one. I'll, I'll go ahead and say who who didn't authorize because before you put it any type of power plant, it goes through not not just grid connection and how all of that works, but EPA siting studies. I mean, fueling siting studies. Uh, all, all kinds of approvals to get anything like that put into place. It goes through emissions testing. It goes through annual inspection. So just just saying, it it's it would be hard to sneak in a power plant somewhere or you know a large gas turbine that can produce ten to fifteen megawatts and just flip the switch without anybody knowing about it. So that's just my my input. Having been involved in a lot of power plant siting and issues and been exposed to putting up a wind turbine and getting every migratory bird path, you know, figured out. You don't, can't just put in a power plant and then get mad when somebody actually runs it. So while well, you were authorized to run it. As somebody who's remodeled 100 homes, built homes in the Memphis market over the years, now I haven't lived there for 10 years now, but uh, lots of people did a lot of unpermitted work there. But I have a hard time somebody put in 18 gas turbines to burn natural gas without getting a permit. You know, some of this just seems, you know, it's like, well, who was supposed to authorize that? Was the city council supposed to authorize it? It was, I, I'm not sure exactly what that means when somebody says it wasn't authorized. I have a hard time believing they did it without it being permitted and with the local utility, which is called Memphis Light Gas and Water, not uh, knowing about it. It says here, Memphis already had a major smog problem and the county where the XAI data center is located received an F grade from the American Lung Association for its poor air quality. Now, I lived in Memphis for 20 years. Poor air quality is not something I remember from there. You know, Omaha definitely doesn't have poor air quality compared to Memphis, but it really never struck me because it wasn't a major manufacturing facility or manufacturing area. It had been at one time, like say before the 1995, but um, since then, all the manufacturers are pretty much shut down. It was pretty much all distribution. They have FedEx based there. You have very large truck companies based there. Since I moved, they've added a 4 million square foot Amazon facility. It was already a big distribution facility for Nike had two big facilities there. So they're being accused by environmental health advocates of adding to the pollution by using natural gas burning turbines at this new data center and doing so without a permit. Not sure what that permit might involve, but it was a former Electrolux factory. They'd begun training its AI models at the facility using 100,000 of NVIDIA's H100 processors. Now, the Southern Environmental Law Center sent a letter this year, a letter this week, to the health department of Shelby County, which is where Memphis is located, and to a regional office of the EPA on behalf of several local groups asking regulators to investigate XAI for its unpermitted use of turbines and the pollution they create. They have installed at least 18 gas combustion turbines over the last several months with more potentially on the way. Its long-term plan is to use power from the local utility and that utilities said it's already, it started providing 50 megawatts of power at the beginning of August. However, the facility requires an additional 100 megawatts. 
Utility has installed more circuit breakers and started making improvements to transmission lines and the areas prepare for the added power consumption as well. So that's that's common. I mean, that's that's something that will happen. We've we've talked about it before. You know, where EVs will get a lot of the rap of of increasing demand on the grid, but it's data centers. Um, that's that's really the culprit that's happening, and it's just it's a supply chain. You know, hey, we don't have the power for you today, and they go back to the drawing board. Hey, we want to want to figure this out. Well, let's make our own. And then long term, all of those combustion turbines they're putting in are going to serve as backup. Um, for long term, hey, if, if something happens to the grid, we can we can keep running. Or a lot of utilities will offer long term, you know, curtailment or use of that generation. So, in in a in a capacity constrained power market, generation is a great asset. I mean, that is that is a very positive thing they're putting in. It's just that's that's where I keep going back to of this is this is a cookie cutter. Yeah, we build a data center. We're going to put in some generation to bridge the gap until we get our full power demand. And then we're going to keep that generation um, on there and available for emergency purposes. Maybe maybe that's the rub. Maybe they pitch it and said, hey, these are backup emergency generators only. And they're they're using them to supplement their operation at this point. So maybe, maybe that's, that's the way they were permitted and permitted differently. But even in those cases, you're allowed so many hours of runtime per year. And as long as they're not exceeding their, their hours of runtime per year, then I don't, I don't know where, where you can pick fault with it. Well, they're saying in this, that uh, the turbines in place have the capacity to emit an additional 130 tons of nitrogen oxides annually, which rank them as the ninth largest source of the pollutants in that County. Their combined capacity could power 50,000 homes. Now, we know that AI uses a lot of damn power draw, and Musk has even said that th- there's going to start being problems. But supposedly, Musk-led companies have a history of building facilities or operating high-emissions equipment without obtaining permits first. With SpaceX operated a water deluge and cooling system at its launch facility in Boca Chica, Texas, repeatedly discharging industrial wastewater there without a permit. And there's been similar issues with the boring company. And Tesla had something in 21 for modifying paint shop equipment without a permit. I don't know. So, some of that seems a little, uh, you know, nitpicky. But You know, maybe maybe in three weeks we'll be eating our words on this. And so, oh, oh crap, we really did sneak those in there and put them on. But hey, I just, my, my experience in these problems, it would be pretty dang hard to sneak 18 of them in there just run them without doing anything the thing is there was people issuing permits along the way for the electrical people to come in there the plumbing people to come in and hook up the uh the natural gas and all that so it, it does seem a little odd that that is what they're going after or maybe, maybe it's the case everything's gummed up in bureaucracy and red tape and they're waiting for a final stamp and they, they cranked them on for a couple of days without having that final letter letter of approval and that's what people are taking taking numbers with I, I don't know i don't know you know well maybe there's more that's going to unfold from that or maybe it's just i'm i'm sure we'll hear more about this yeah I, if you're trying to protect your community and you think this is this is the pollution source great like go for it but if it's just we don't we don't like it um and now we're gonna gonna file a lawsuit again so that's that's different because there's permitting processes in place to figure all that stuff out, uh, which I I would have a hell of a time believing or not believing that they follow those processes for a facility that big that they're banking on for this function and this business stream. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. Do you have some feedback for us? Please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.